we're going to talk about the Creality Sermoon D1. This is an update to my first video where I went over my Ender 3 Pro. This is the Creality Sermoon D1. For the most part, this machine is stock. I haven't done, a th not even for the most part, it's stock, bottom line. It is my powerhouse, my big one, the most tried and trusted machine that I have next to my Ender 3, which always likes to cause me some headaches. This machine is, I would almost call this old reliable. As you can see, it's a semi-enclosed printer. I say semi-enclosed because the top is fully exposed. There are a lot of modifications out there that do uh, create like a dome or a box that covers it to keep the heat inside. But so far I haven't needed it. This has worked out quite fine. The Sermoon has the spool on the outside, unlike a lot of the other fully enclosed machines. But spools on the outside, it does have a runout sensor and a Fugazi system getting it from the runout sensor all the way into the hot end. There are some other modifications that I have ready to go. I have to print them and put them on that get rid of this, but I haven't done it yet. Direct drive unit. So basically there's no Bowden tube and everything gets taken care of right here, right at the hot end. The under three, which I, one of the things I absolutely love is that the bed goes up and down. It does not go side to side or back and forth like the under three. So the model isn't swinging around. Model stays place while the head is running around doing its printing. This machine is oddly quiet. Very, very quiet. Sometimes I can't even tell if it's printing. I have to get up and physically look at it. It's also the machine that I'm gonna be moving my Octoprint to. I haven't done it yet because it's a little bit more involved because basically all of the brains of this machine are under this panel. So I wanna put my Octoprint underneath there and also run it off of the uh, power supply for the Sermoon. This is, I have the hardware, just haven't had the time. I got the Octoprint ready. I got the butt connectors ready to go. Uh, just gotta wire it up and you know, make it go. I shouldn't say this while the machine's printing, but I haven't had any issues with this machine. Knock on wood, it never has gone down. Knock on wood. But one thing I don't like about this machine, it's a big gripe that I have, is that it's nearly impossible to get parts. This machine does mimic a lot of, I think, the Ender 6, if I'm not mistaken. So belts, I think you can reuse, some uh, different connectors and whatnot you can use. The other stuff you can't, like the bed, so it's, it's a proprietary size for this machine. The hot end is completely proprietary. For the hot end is completely proprietary, including the PTFE line tube inside. And given this uh, unconventional design, there are literally no aftermarket hot ends for this machine. This machine where I can basically slap on a new hot end from any company I want, can't do that with this guy. So that's a big issue that I'm sure will come and bite me in the ass at one point or another. Another issue that I have with this machine is that the interface, while very easy to use, sucks because there's not a lot of options, not a lot of options that you can play with in settings like an Ender 3, you know, using the Marlin software or Clip or any of that stuff. This is very, very, very user friendly, but for the beginning, for the beginning user. For example, here are my adjustments. That's it. Can't do anything else. The printer is not printing. You can't modify things like e-steps or any other normal everyday settings that you could change on a printer to tweak it to configure it to run better than stock. With all that being said, I love this machine. It's quiet, it's fast, it's got a huge bed, large enough for me to use. It's got dual Z screws, another great feature. But yeah, this is my Sir Moon D1 from Creality. What did I gotta say? She's kind of a looker, you know what I mean? Out of all the 3D printers that are out there, it's probably one of the nicest looking ones next to like, say, I don't know, Bamboo Labs one, but I love the way this thing looks. Most of all, it functions very, very well. I mean, look at that. Beautiful.